In this video, I'll be demonstrating picking up the stitches for the sleeves in the ranunculus sweater. I had some stitches that were on waist yarn that I've put onto a long circular needle. And the pattern instructs you to start at the center of the underarm, pick up, I've got to pick up four stitches, then knit all the way along the held stitches that are on the needle now, and then finish picking up the last four stitches so that you start and finish at the center of the underarm. So I've got this on a magic, uh, on long, a long circular needle that you could use for magic loop and I could use this needle, but instead I'm actually going to knit the sleeves on a short circular needle. From tip to tip, this is 36 centimeters. I've got two eight centimeter tips and a 20 centimeter cable. I'm using a six millimeter needle and my right tip is a six millimeter, but my left tip is a five millimeter just to make it easier to get the stitches around. Right, so I've put, um, I had eight stitches underneath the underarm and I've put a, a marker at the center. So I've got one, two, let me, a one, two, three, four, and then another four, one, two, three, four. So I just found it easier to sort of count the eight across and then work out where the first one was, the, the, foot, the start of the first four. And what I want to do, I'm knitting with the yarn held double, so I've actually got like four strands to pick up here. So I'm going under the cast on stitches and you definitely want to go under both loops. So for me, that's four strands of yarn. And then I've got my working yarn and I generally leave quite a substantial tail to make sure that I've got a bit of extra yarn for weaving in ends. Okay. So I'll start by picking up these stitches, make sure I've got it the right way around, I'm not gonna knit with a tail. So that's one. Two. Sorry about the we're just making some noise on the on the table. So I've got to just make sure I pick up both strands. Two, three. Now with ranunculus, it's quite an unusual way of um, removing the stitches. So it does look a little different to most patterns where you just um, just take off the sleeve stitches and keep knitting. The idea is to try to prevent holes. But what I've noticed is that I still get this quite large hole and probably like when I make this pattern again, I won't, um, I won't do that method because I've got a, another method that I prefer. So now I have to pick up this last one and I don't like this big hole. So I'm going to work out how can I close that up. So if I pick up, say here, it does look like I'm going down into the fabric a little bit, but otherwise I'm just gonna end up with a really large hole. So I'll pick up this one and then this strand here and take a look at how that looks. Okay, so I can see, you can see that the hole has been closed up because I picked a strand up just a little bit lower. The way I usually do it is I actually pick up an extra, I just take the stitches off normally and pick up an extra stitch at each corner and then decrease it in the next row and I find that works better. But I've taken these ones up, off the way the pattern suggested so I have to finish the same way I started. So then now I might just pause the video, I'm going to knit around the, the body, sorry the rest of the sleeve stitches and then I'll pick up the last four. So I've knitted around the rest of the sleeve stitches and I can see that this was with the first cast on or the first one that I picked up. The last one will be this one here. So that's one, two, three and four in here. So that's the first one that I have to pick up. out of the second four. So that's one, making sure I pick up both strands. A little fiddly when you're double stranded and mohair, 
two, three, Be careful not to pick up too much. There we go. So I just want to make sure I get it right. Make sure I've got four strands there. It's a little fiddly that last one. I'm just I might just get a um another needle and sort of pull that out a little bit because I keep wanting to grab this one down here. Sometimes that can help you if you just get something else out to make sure you've got the two strands and then pinch it and then make sure that's all you're, you're collecting. Okay, and that's my last one. So the fabric's pretty open, but that means we shouldn't have any large holes at, at either end. So that's one corner there and that's the other corner there. And I can use the tail to just pull that in a little bit there. And then I'll put a marker and that's the center of the underarm and that's the start of the round. And then I usually, it can be hard sometimes in terms of when you're trying to work out how many rows have I done. Um, you know, it's sort of a harder position to count from. So I straight away, just going to grab a, um, a locking stitch marker and mark it right now actually I won't do it right now I'll do it when it's a little bit easier it's, it's hard to tell on that fabric so I'll get a little bit further because I want to make sure that I've got exactly the same number of um, rows on both sleeves so I'll get a little bit into sort of more the body of the sleeve not the cast on stitches and then I'll put a locking stitch marker under so I know that's this is the I don't count you don't count picking up the stitches as a row you've just sort of got them on the needles and then now I've actually that's my I'm on my first row of knitting now so I'll put a marker here so that I can see I've done one row on the sleeves so far and then that way I'll be able to make sure both sleeves have the same number of rows.